You know, if you live in South Florida, lightning is always an issue with big storms. But luckily here in Weston at the parks, there's a system to warn visitors to the parks about when lightning is about to occur. So we're here with Don Decker, the Director of Parks and Recreation for the City of Weston. Don, tell us about what the lightning warning system is like in the city parks. Sure, we have a system called ThorGuard, and it's actually one that was developed for the PGA, and cities across South Florida embraced it pretty early on. ThorGuard is a system that monitors the conditions in the atmosphere and when it sees that there's a potential for lightning it will sound off an alarm about a 15 second alarm that you can't miss if you're in the park that really is the indication to all the participants in the park all the sports players to go ahead and seek shelter if they can get into an indoor facility that's the best situation if they can't get to an indoor facility then they need to try to get into a vehicle really our Shelters out here, our shaded playgrounds are not a great place to be in the event of a storm. They don't provide the shelter that you really need. So if somebody hears that warning alarm go off while they're in an activity, that gives them, what, about 10 or 15 minutes to find shelter? Well, they need to get to shelter immediately as soon as they hear that because there's really no way to judge how close that lightning can be. It's just a sensor that says it, there's a potential for lightning. You can actually get that sensor going off on a what is an otherwise cloudless day because it's monitoring several miles away from the park. It might be very uh, clear where you're at, but if there's lightning close by within maybe 10 or 12 miles, that sensor could go off and you would need to seek, seek shelter. There are people who are killed every year uh, by lightning, even when there are no clouds in the area. It's called, I believe, a back flash, and you do want to be careful of that. So uh, just to, in general, uh, to give people some tips, just as a reminder, if you're not in a park with a warning system, what are the things that the residents should be looking for as the warning signs to be able to take action and take shelter? Sure. Well, hopefully, if you've been around a while, you can kind of sense when there's a storm coming. Uh, you see the black skies. You can hear the thunder in the distance. Uh, back when we were young, they used to say if you heard the thunder and you counted to about five, you knew the storm was getting close and you needed to get inside. Uh, so they definitely need to watch the weather. Uh, and, and this is not a replacement for common sense. There is a possibility that the, you could have lightning in the area and that sensor not go off. So obviously, if you see lightning, uh, then it, that is your indication that you need to get somewhere safe as quickly as possible. And a reminder of where these uh, sensors are and which parks where they're located? Sure, we have sensors in all three of our athletic parks, Vista Park, Regional Park, and Tequesta Trace Park. And I should also indicate you also get a siren going off when it's safe to go back out into the activities again. Uh, you'll get three shorter signals that will tell you it's safe to go ahead and resume play. All right, so good advice for you during the summertime or any time where there might be severe weather in the area. So when you hear those warning signs, make sure you take shelter immediately.